Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I am going to be sharing with you a couple techniques of doing an ombre nail using pigments. So a lot of companies now have pigments and you can actually use them to create some pretty flawless ombres. So I'm going to show you the steps to do that. First, I wanted to share with you the colors of pigments that Magpie Beauty offers right now. These are going to be the pigments that I'm using in the tutorial. However, if you have other pigments uh, by other brands, then you're more than welcome to use those. I know a lot of different brands have pigments now. I'm just going to show you guys using these ones and I'm going to show you guys the different colors that they have. So the brush I'm going to be using for this tutorial is a really old, just fluffy eyeshadow brush, something cheap. I definitely don't recommend using anything like expensive or super nice for using pigments because it's going to get full of pigments and different colors and stuff like that. So just a really cheap, like fluffy eyeshadow brush is what I'm using. Now the first technique I'm going to share with you guys is using a matte top coat and pigments together to create an ombre. And this is going to be probably like the most flawless technique. And make sure to take note of the steps because they are really important for creating this flawless ombre. And some of the steps you won't quite see as I'm doing them. So just make sure and take note of the different steps that I do in order to make the pigment ombre the most flawless way that it can. So I'm starting with two coats of Come What May, which is a sheer pink gel polish. This is just gonna be my background color. And then I'm gonna be using the hot pink pigment, which is called Joy, and I'm going to ombre with that. So I've done two coats of the gel color, and now I'm gonna go in with my matte top coat. This is the Magpie Velvet Top Coat. And this is one of the important steps. Once we've applied this, we are gonna cure it for only half the amount of time. So only 30 seconds instead of 60 seconds. Whatever matte top coat that you're using, just make sure you cure that one for half the time that it's recommended. So once that has cured, now I'm going to start applying my pigment. So I have my fluffy eyeshadow brush and I've laid down a paper towel. I highly recommend laying down a paper towel when using pigments because these things will get everywhere, these pigments. Like, it's crazy. They do wash off super easily, but if you spill them or, you know, they just kind of float around, they just get everywhere. So I highly recommend laying down a paper towel on your work surface so that you can kind of work from that and you, just in case you spill it or make a mess, it's not going to be too bad. So I take a little bit of that pigment on my brush and then I actually dab it into the paper towel to kind of get off any of that excess so I don't have a whole bunch on my brush at once. And then I start tapping, starting from the edge of the nail and working my way up. So I'm just lightly tapping that pigment in as you and you can see that it's already starting to ombre like really, really softly and beautifully. So I'm just gonna keep working my way up with that pigment until I'm happy with the way that it looks. So once I've completed this first layer, then I'm going to be taking a file or a buffer and I'm going to be filing along that free edge because sometimes people can have chipping with these pigments 
just because the top coat can't adhere very well to the pigment. So just make sure and file or buff that free edge a little bit just so that top coat can have something to grip onto. And then when you do put your top coat on, make sure and cap those edges as well. So I'm just going along again, buffing those free edges. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to cure this now for the rest of the time that that top coat should have been cured. So another 30 seconds. And this step is really important because if you don't cure that pigment after you've placed it on, it will get streaky and smeary when you go to apply the next coat. Now that that has been cured again, I'm applying actually another coat of matte because I want to do this step again because the pigment's pretty light. So you can kind of keep layering and doing this as many times until you kind of get the amount of like brightness that you would like. So again, I've applied my matte top coat, cured for half the amount of time, and then I'm going in again with more pigment. So once I'm happy with that, again, filing and buffing those edges before I put the nail back into the lamp to cure that matte top coat for the rest of the remaining time. Now once that comes back out of the lamp, then I'm ready to do my final top coat, which is the Magpie Like a Diamond top coat is what I'm using here. And I also recommend kind of floating it on. If you push that brush into that pigment, you could smear it a little bit. So I use more of like a floating method when I'm going over that pigment. This nail is a little bit sheer, but that's just because the color that I used underneath of the pigment is a little bit sheer itself. But if you use a opaque color as your base color, then it'll be more opaque and less sheer. My tips now for cleaning your brush is taking a lint-free wipe with some alcohol and just rubbing that brush into that alcohol and then rubbing it on the dry paper towel to get any of that excess pigment out. And then it dries pretty quickly because the alcohol evaporates. Now I thought I would show you guys the same technique but one more time using the baby pigment for the baby boomer look. So I'm starting with two coats of cotton candy which is a really nice pink. And then here I am going in with my matte top coat which again I'm gonna cure for half the time, so 30 seconds. Now I'm going in with the white pigment which is called baby. Getting a little bit on my eyeshadow brush and then kind of dusting off the excess and then again ombreing it from the edge of the nail up towards the top. Now I'm going to file those edges before putting the nail back in the lamp to cure the top coat for the remaining amount of time. Then once that comes back out, again, another coat of matte top coat and I'm gonna do the same method one more time just to get that white pigment a little bit more white. And once that finally comes out of the lamp for the last time, then I'm gonna be floating on my top coat. And 
it looks gorgeous. Like this is so beautiful. I love using this pigment for a baby boomer nail, which a lot of people struggle with. Uh, this pigment makes it so easy and so flawless. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Now the second technique I'm going to share with you guys is just applying that pigment into the tacky layer of a gel polish. Now when you do it this way, sometimes it can look a little grainy, a little speckly, spotty, just because it's a pigment. So I only recommend really doing this technique if the colors are going to be really similar. So you can see I did a, like a magenta gel polish and then I used the purple pigment. That second one is actually a pink gel polish and orange pigment. And then the next one is like a light orange to yellow. And then now I'm gonna do this purple to blue one. So I'm starting off with two coats of this purple gel polish, which is Luxio Icon. And then I'm gonna be dabbing that blue pigment straight into the tacky layer. So I haven't applied any top coat, no matte top coat. I haven't wiped that tacky layer off. It's still sticky. And I'm just going to work that pigment from the free edge, working it up just the same way as the other nails that I did. And again, I would only use this technique if the colors are going to be similar because you will be able to see more of that spottiness if you have really opposite colors. Uh, it'll be a little bit more obvious. So this way, I really would do it with colors that are very similar or close to each other like on the color wheel. My favorite is bright pink to orange or orange to pink. For some reason, those ones just like blend so flawlessly, even with this technique where I'm just putting it into the tacky layer. Those are like my favorites. And I also find that the blue pigment and the purple pigments, because they are darker, they do show that kind of more speckled look a little bit easier. So again, making sure that the colors are pretty close to each other, not too much of polar opposites. Otherwise, it's not going to look as smooth of an ombre. So once I'm done and happy with the way that ombre looks then I'm going to cure that and then I'm going to go in with my top coat again still floating it over the top so I make sure not to smear that pigment at all but you can see this looks so pretty and that was super easy and just dabbed straight into the tacky layer all right, so there's my tips and tricks for creating ombre nails using pigments. I'd love to know if you guys have tried this, these techniques already or if you're going to be giving them a try. Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. It tells me and YouTube that you want to see more of this content. I appreciate all you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.